What's going on guys? It's the Skylando Dude back here with another video and uh, how do we like that new intro? But today we're reacting to some just false, untrue, made up Skylanders TikToks. So let's debunk some misinformation. Okay, well, what does this phone say? Skylanders is confirmed for its long-awaited return. Microsoft owning Blizzard, which controls Toys for Bob, has confirmed the release of Skylanders again. No release date. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm hyped. My table is full as it is. Weekly type news. Comment your thoughts. Oh my gosh. Yo, Josh Star Wars. I don't know who confirmed it, but guys, this must be <laughs> hard information right here that uh, Skylanders is confirmed by Microsoft owning Blizzard, which controls Toys for Bob. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of TikToks like this around when the Microsoft news came out. I'm just going to say it once. Nothing is confirmed, guys. <laughs> I don't know where people got this from, but as of right now, there's nothing that's confirmed. Uh, sorry to hear your table's full, but uh, at least you can take some weight off it right now. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. All right, let's move on. Oh, oh. 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 Okay, Lil Pump with the Mario Kart track. I don't even know what. I have to watch this again because I don't I don't even know <laughs> what it was. Least expensive scanners ever. Okay. Seriously. <laughs> One what? 163 for series two prison break? Where did that even come from? Where what? Series two double trouble. 191? What? Blast zone. Alright, I don't know where these prices are coming from, but they're not accurate. I mean, maybe by, by like a few cents, but that's not the cheapest ever. What would be the cheapest? Probably like a random magic item, right? I mean, like a, like a water tiki. Like, there's definitely cheaper figures than Series 2 Prism Break. But hey, if you can find a Series 2 Prism Break for, what was it, 180 free shipping, go ahead. Something tells me you're not gonna find that. Fire song though, good audio. Oh, now we get the most expensive non variant Okay, Spotlight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? They said Spotlight is 75 to 100. If this is USD, that's way overpriced. That's a big range, by the way, unless you're talking like sealed and loose, but loose Spotlight is maybe 75, more like 70 as of this video. Who knows if that's gonna change, but. And they said Echo is 100 to 115, not USD, bro. I think Echo is more like 80, if you're lucky. I don't think I see Echo going for over 85, so what's next? Blackout 100 to 125. Again, Blackout's like an $80 figure. <laughs> I don't know where these people are getting these values from. Like, what? 180 to 200 for Thrillipede, green Thrillipede. I don't think Thrillipede goes even to 180. I mean, maybe 150, 160, but yeah, these are crazy. Wildstorm, 180 to 250. That is a massive range. <laughs> if you're talking just Wildstorm, not the chest and the crystal, uh, I think it's maybe 150, 130 around there, not 180 to 250. I don't even know if it's 180 for the three, like the pack, the adventure pack. Okay, then they say the most expensive is Robo, 250 to 500, that's double, the range is doubled. To be fair, Robo Loose can go from like 300 to like 350, maybe even 400 now. I don't know when this was posted, but I don't think prices were ever that high. Also, they didn't even include Green Chompy Mage, that's not a variant, and that's probably one of the most expensive. Whatever, people on TikTok, I don't know where y'all get your values from, <laughs> but they're inaccurate. Let's move on. Big news for Skylanders fans. Oh no, big news. I can already see. I know where this is going. If you were unaware, Microsoft has bought. Yeah, Microsoft. Let's see, what do you guys say? Activision Blizzard, the studio behind Skylanders. Yep. And video game company Xbox has said that they <laughs> will be reviving some of the old games, namely no, Guitar they didn't Hero. No, say they were going. To look, at, look at the title you have right here. 
Activision CEO wants Xbox to revive Guitar Hero and Skylanders. That doesn't mean they're going to. Will the CEO have a bigger influence on the company? Maybe, but that's not hard evidence that it's gonna happen. Did you say anything else? Oh, and you guessed it. S -s -s Skylanders! <laughs> Currently, the Skylanders subreddit is freaking out right now. Okay, well, they can stop freaking out because it's not hard evidence. Guys, if you see anything on TikTok or anywhere, for that matter, about Microsoft, and Skylanders, just know that it's probably <laughs> not true. Depending on when you're watching this video, but as of right now, there has been no hard evidence. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say this. It's all just speculation. Oh my gosh. Mike Annoyed, what is, what? What is he doing here? I can almost guarantee that nobody has more food fights than me. Why, bro? Do at this video if you have more. Why does he have so many food fights? Can, <laughs> can someone check on this man? Like, come on. Well, it's, he's over 200 now, I believe, but this isn't really misinformation. I just don't know why Mike Goodwood has so many food fights. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, but uh, check out his food fight army video. That was pretty funny. All right. right now, there's a huge issue. Oh, no. This is probably my least. This is the reason that this video is a thing, probably. This is the most misleading TikTok, and everyone is, like, not freaking out, but they're, like, they're believing this. Let's let's watch this. In the Skylanders community, the Skylanders chit's dying. So if no you way. didn't know, all the data for a character is stored in a chip in their base like this one here. Those <laughs> chips have a battery, which only lasts about 10 years, which means... Alright, alright. I don't know where this guy got his information from. But NFC tag, there's no battery. But NFC tags do not last 10 years. If they lasted 10 years, all the Spars Adventure characters would be dead by now. And... I don't know about you guys, but all of mine still working fine. Yes, the chips will probably eventually die, but it will not be in our lifetime, most likely. I don't know where these 10 year rumors came from, but they're lasting much longer than that, that's for sure. If you have a figure that the chip has died already and you reset it and it still doesn't work, then you just got a malfunctioning toy. Like it's not, it, it's not very common. Technology will malfunction and these things will happen. <laughs> But no, the NFC tags are not just starting to die. I personally combat this by having a document which has all my Skylanders level, gold okay. amount, hat, upgrades. I don't know why you're doing all that, but he made a second one. So before I say anything else, let's see what the second one says about My chips now, don't actually have a batteries. Huge issue. I was the silent. Stop, stop. Okay, I'll read it. <laughs> the chips, okay, the chips don't actually have batteries. I was misinformed. However, the manufacturer of the chips has stated they will last about 10 years with frequent use. So just don't play with them every day and you should be fine. Again, don't know where that came from, but here, I'll let you guys decide. I don't know who you want to believe, this random TikTok or Robert Leyland, who was the senior engineer designer at Toys for Bob and he made like the portal power and oversaw all the technology behind the figures. Here, Robert Leyland said this last year. I will tell you that one of my buddies at TFB set up a reader and a computer and put a tag on it and started reading and writing the tag continuously 24 hours a day. You know, the tags are rated, were originally rated for a million read writes. Later on, they upped that to 5 million read writes. No change in the technology, they just done more testing. And then they upped it again to 10 million read writes. But um, Sammy, my but buddy, um, did, uh, I think he did, was still doing 20 million read writes. And he had two portals fail and one computer fail before the tag failed. So he had to change portals twice and a computer once in order to break the tags. So Electronically, I think they're pretty robust. They, they will last a really long time. So I don't know where this information's coming from, but it ain't true. Do not be afraid to use your figures. They're not dying anytime soon. Is that it? Is there anything else in here? Force community. Okay, I'm done with that. Okay, last one. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking me, how do you oh, make these? Oh no, dude. NFC cards. Okay, first off, I recognize this dude. This is Spenny. He seems pretty cool. I've seen a few of his videos before. And I can't blame the people behind this because a lot of them just don't know. But guys, NFC cards are illegal. <laughs> it is illegal to take Activision's information, taking the files of characters and putting them onto new chips. That's exactly what these NFC cards are. They just take the files information of a character and put it onto a card or that has an NFC tag in it. But guys, that is illegal. 
We do not own the rights or the property to those files, so we cannot just take them from the game and put it onto chips as we so please. I understand some figures are harder to get. You just want to play as them. Is Activision going to knock on your door and, <laughs> I don't know, sue you? Most likely not. But either way, technically speaking, it is illegal. So my personal opinion, I'm never going to use these cards. I'm never going to buy anyone selling these cards. I just don't believe in them. If you want to use them to get the more expensive figures, you do you. Just know it's illegal, <laughs> I guess. I'm not actually going to show however he shows how to make them, but I've seen a lot of people, and it's not, not just this guy, Spidey's a good guy. I've seen a lot of people making these types of videos and I just think it's a bad thing to promote and spread across the community. So if you ask me, don't do it, avoid any potential trouble you can get in. And I would just hunt for some good deals on those more rare figures. That's it. I think I've seen enough misinformation on TikTok today. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.